imagine the following scenario. You sit in the back seat of a car that is traveling at one meters per second below the speed of light. You have a baseball in your hand that you throw forward at two meters per second. Surely the speed of the ball added to the speed of the car surpasses the speed of light. What if I told you the speed of the ball combined with the speed of the car is still less than the speed of light? But how is this possible? The universe reacts in a phenomenal way to say the least. Time slows down for you and every other particle that is inside and a part of the car. Yes, time literally slows down. Which means that for someone looking into the car from outside of it, you appear to be moving in slow motion. You, however, feel as if time is normal. This phenomenon discovered by Albert Einstein is known as time dilation. If you were traveling at 99.97% of the speed of light, calculations show that the ball speed of two meters per second would be reduced to 0.05 meters per second. Adding the reduced speed of the ball to the speed of the car gives you a value that is less than the speed of light. Generally speaking, objects in the universe that speed up or experience a strong gravitational force experience a slowdown in their time. I say their time because it is only the time of the object including the particles it is made up of and other elements within it that experience this slowness. The faster an object goes, the slower its time becomes. As an object approaches the speed of light, the universe reacts by slowing everything within the frame of the object down so as to not surpass the speed of light. It is a chilling thought that time is a physical entity that changes. If you have a hard time believing such a phenomenon exists, take a look at the following evidence. In 1971, a study known as the Haffel and Keating experiment was conducted by the United States Naval Observatory using atomic clocks and aeroplanes. Atomic clocks can measure beyond hours, minutes and seconds two aeroplanes were to fly in opposite directions around the globe, one towards the east, the other west. Both planes carried their own atomic clocks, whilst there was an additional reference atomic clock stationed on the ground. From their individual flight paths and speeds, Einstein's theory of time dilation predicted that the atomic clock on board the plane flying east should have lost time, while the one flying west would have gained time. The results were astonishing. The atomic clock that flew east lost 59 nanoseconds, and the one that flew west gained 273 nanoseconds. The speeds of these planes, as well as every object and being on board, experienced a change in time. If you're wondering why the plane flying west gained time, it is because it traveled in the opposite direction to the Earth's rotation. Let's not forget, the Earth is rotating at 1,600 kilometers per hour. So you are experiencing time dilation just by being on Earth. For those that still have doubts about time actually slowing down for objects that travel faster, let us look at the way time dilation affects our location technology that we use on our devices. The location service on our device requires satellites that are orbiting the Earth. Because these satellites are so far up in the Earth's atmosphere, they experience 75% less gravity than objects on Earth's surface. Due to this, 
their atomic clocks are faster by 38 microseconds per day. This doesn't sound like much. However, in order for satellites to determine your location, your device must receive a signal from them. The device then uses the time each signal was sent in order to calculate the distance between you and the satellite. If the 38 microseconds is ignored, the location service on your device will be inaccurate by several kilometers. Time dilation does indeed exist in our universe. So what strange ideas can we conjure up now that we know the universe slows down time for objects that are speeding up? Well, let us think of a pair of twins, J and K, that were born minutes apart. J grows up to be an astronaut whose spaceship can travel at very close to the speed of light. The twins are now 30 years old, on a mission Jay boards a spaceship that accelerates up to 99.97% of the speed of light. For Jay, his mission takes one year. Know that because Jay is traveling at this speed, time has slowed down for him compared to Kay, who is experiencing time normally, as you would on Earth. When Jay arrives from his mission, he is 31 years old. He reunites with his twin, K, who is now 72 years old. This is not science fiction. This is the universe we live in. Time dilation allows us to live in a fascinating reality. With enough creativity and imagination, anything is possible. The thought of a time machine that can take you into the future is no longer just a dream, but an idea that is possible. What other phenomenal laws will we discover about the universe in the years to come? We look forward to reading your replies. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe for upcoming videos that will ignite your curiosity and take your imagination on a journey that is far beyond.